looks like it opens up, Scorpio, with you um, maybe needing to take a rest, but I see some resistance against accepting that rest. When, when I see Four of Swords, let me just adjust the light here a little bit. When I see Four of Swords in reverse, Four of Swords in the upright position means taking a rest, taking some needed R&R, &R, rest, relaxation, time to reflect, time to sort of hang your thoughts up on the wall and just process things. Just take a moment out from the battle of whatever it is that you're engaging with. If it's daily life, if it's a project, if it's an engagement with someone else, if it's a conflict, it's just taking, it's the soldier taking a rest and going into repose and retreat. So what it's saying is that, especially right here next to Fool, it's almost like you have a new beginning open to you, a new adventure, but until you take this rest, until you reflect and uh, relax and do all those words that have to do with re, like regenerate, reflect, relax, um, it's going to be harder to break into that new chapter that's opening up until you actually take a moment to step out of your daily routine to to reflect a little bit, to think about things, to um, you know take a take a moment out from the hustle and bustle. And that's hard to do during December because there's so much going on. But you may need to do that, Scorpio, in order to receive this new energy that's coming at you. Fool, it's funny because this is going from rest and relaxation and reflection, taking a time out, and then fool means being renewed, feeling like all things are possible, feeling the sense of wonder at the world, curiosity, um, willingness to take any things on, feeling like all things are possible. Fool is the first card of the major arcana, and it's zero, so it means like all things are open, all things are unformed, all things are um open to you like the universe and the world opens itself to um to possibility so zero is like the void it's all things being unformed all things possible it's all potential energy and fool is carefree he sort of laughs and and charges out into the world trusting and knowing that he will be supported so with this showing up for you but in reverse, it's saying to me that you need to address this before you can get here. And then also, this comes next. This is Ace of Coins, which follows being open, feeling carefree, feeling like the world, you know, the wind is at your back. Um, this comes after that, which is Ace of Coins. And it means receiving something new. Aces are always new beginnings. Receiving something new in terms of materiality, money, assets, possessions, physical things, lifestyle. This is like a new open gate to a garden that is inviting you to walk through that. That's what Ace of Coins energy is. And you can see, you know, in both of these cards, there's lots of flowers. It's sort of like things are blooming. Things are, he's carrying a rose in his hand and there's a rose here. It's sort of like smelling the sweetness of life, tuning into what's around you that is um, rewarding you know, fulfilling. That's one of the things Fool feels fulfilled. That's why he's got this victory um, wreath of laurels around his head. He feels fulfilled. He feels like I'm open. Life is rich. Life is full. Um, he connects with others easily. He's just carefree and he just, he doesn't have a care in the world. Um, so that's, that's the kind of energy like bright new day um, that both of these have, but in order to access those, you are going to need to take some time out to think because Four of Swords is about um, finding peace. It's about just stepping away from action for a moment. This is non reactivity, this is letting thoughts wash over you and considering them as you know in meditation sometimes there's an exercise of watching the clouds of your thoughts pass by it's kind of what this card is about so you kind of have to be still take a time out 
get through your resistance, fears, doubts, whatever that is that's blocking that, because it's also blocking these two things, which want to come in, which want to, you know, it's like a brand new day. And then this is saying the, war, the universe wants to hand you riches. Are you in a place of receiving new money, new assets, new lifestyle, new chapter regarding physical things? And by the way, Scorpio too, there's a lot of healing and recovery that, that is in this whole package deal. If you can get over your resistance or your fear or your doubt of any of these things, they're all available to you. Um, and it's gonna just have to do with you making a decision. You have lots of swords energy here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, half your cards are swords, which is the air element, which has to do with the mental realm and thinking things through. It's really gonna be a month for you about reflection, thinking things over, thinking things through, getting your mind right. So this card, Six of Swords, is all about recovery and healing. You can see it's about going from charged, chaotic waters to smooth seas, calmer horizons, new lands that have to do with um, going from disruption and chaos to serenity, peace, peaceful waters. And in this card, I always point out that there is two, there's two figures here. There's someone who is helping someone else who has been suffering. Or it's receiving help from someone else, if you identify more with this character. Or it could be help you helping yourself. So regardless, there's peace, there's healing, there's recovery. Um, sometimes this card is referred to as science. So it's seeing things logically, seeing things through to a logical conclusion. Therefore, recovery and healing from something. And it can sometimes also mean literal travel to a new land. It could be a figurative new land from chaotic place to a serene place to a smooth, calm horizon. could also be literal travel. So take yourself to a calmer place, Scorpio. Take yourself to the deep blue you know, oceans. You're, you connect with deep water, Scorpio. You usually have deep feelings. So instead of having deep chaotic feelings, go to the place where your deep feelings can emerge on the surface. You know, what do they say? Still waters run deep. So I'm going to encourage you, Scorpio, to find that quiet place, even if it's like five minutes a day, just to reflect to pause, to take a time out, because that's really going to give you access to the sunny, renewed vitality, like all things are possible. My life is carefree. I'm able to invite new things in because I'm making the space for it. And also, I'm able to invite in new money, new assets, new lifestyle. You know, a sunny day, I'm able to walk through this gate because I've taken the time to smell the roses. And by the way, there's a lot of recovery and healing in that. So take a time out, take a pause. Again, even if it's only five minutes a day, I mean, if it can be more, all the better to give yourself a real retreat, a real sanctuary. But the more you can do that, the more you will turn this energy around and have it available to you instead of suppressed, instead of not being able to access it out of fear, out of doubt, out of any resistance. And one of the ways um, that you can do that is through taking action. That's what this whole row is about. Um, you can see all of these are swords cards surrounding the active cards. So you can surround your action by overthinking things. But what two of swords is about is someone who checks out, you know, they're willfully blind. That's one of the names of this card um, because they don't want to face a decision. This is indecision. This is stagnation. This is avoidance. Um, this is checking out, dissociation. It's saying, I have two options here in my hand, but I don't want to choose either one of them. I'm indecisive. I don't know which way to go. I don't know which sword to use. Therefore, I'm not going to use either one of them. I'm just going to remain here in my indecision, and I'm going to check out. So what I always say about this card is that you can choose to stagnate. You can choose to be in indecision. You can choose to check out. Or the way out of this is by taking action. So it's kind of counterintuitive to this, but it's going to help you to reflect and take a pause to help you make a choice and to help you take action on something. So the way out of this is by choosing one of the swords, you know, pulling off that blindfold and stepping forward. It's not being too worried about which choice you make as long as you make a choice. Sometimes the agony of this card is 
the unwillingness to make a choice, the unwillingness to make a mistake, perfectionism, you know, you have to be willing to t make a choice and then correct it if need be, you know, make a different choice later. But you can't just stop time. Time will happen around you, but you can stop yourself within time. That's what this card is about. So engage with life. That's what this guy does, Knight of, Knight of Rods. Another thing you can do to help you make a decision if you're struggling with that mid-month, Scorpio, is consult someone who has experience, who has wisdom. This is the king of swords, which is the king of thought. He is in alignment with the truth. You can see he's chosen one sword. He has experience, wisdom, knowledge. I call this my King Solomon card because he considers both sides of the matter. He employs logic. He employs um, thoughtfulness, he thinks things through, um, and then he makes a, a wise decision, so these oak leaves represent, you know, experience, knowledge, wisdom, rely on him to help you make a decision, to help you choose one sort, to help you see which one of these is the truth for you. Um, he can probably help you weigh options, Scorpio. So oftentimes, King of Swords is a Aquarius is an air sign person, so Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but it can really be anyone who holds the King of Swords archetype, so someone with wisdom, someone with experience, someone who's used to making decisions, someone who can help you get insight and clarity on the truth, someone who can help you weigh options, pros and cons. So I'm going to encourage you, Scorpio, who is it that can be a, an ally to you? Who is it that can be a mentor? Who is it that can be a resource in terms of giving you expertise, in terms of weighing pros and cons? This could be a lawyer. This could be a counselor. This could be um, a boss, a father figure, a family member, a spouse. Um, whoever it is, this could just be an expert in the field. Whatever it is that you're trying to make a decision about, talk to someone who's an expert. Talk to someone who's made those kind of decisions before. They're really going to help you out of this. Instead of deliberating um, and feeling like you're kind of alone and you, you're in this hazy fog of trying to figure things out, get, get help. Re rely on someone who has experience because that's going to really help you in December, Scorpio. And then I see two figures here. Um... They're both, one of the, the commonalities between the two of these is that they have a lot of daring. They have a lot of pluck. Um, on the low sign, they can be um, overly daring and to be reckless or, or careless, you know, to, to look before they leap. This card, Knight of Rods, is about courage. It's about, he's the Knight of Fire. So he is, Knight's experiment between energies. So they swing back and forth sort of wildly between energies, doing something too much or doing something not enough. Knight, Knight of Wands is, he's cocky, he's daring, he's bold, he is, uh, he takes action, he doesn't think twice about anything, he's fiery, he runs, you know, in the rider weight, he's, his horse is up on two legs, he's charging forward. Um, on the low side, though, he can be reckless, and he can be jumping into things before he looks. He can, you know, just trample over people's feelings. He can be fiery, um, but he's got that sort of plucky, uh, courageousness, that sort of thing, and that's a good thing. That's, that's something that you might want to employ, like embrace courage, embrace going for it. This is fire energy, which is action, which is what it's, what it's saying is that you should take action after getting, um, after consulting with someone. It may help you to take action by relying on someone who can help you make decisions if you're stuck in indecision, if you're checked out about something. What it's also cautioning against is, <clears throat> is don't, don't be the low side. Take action, have courage, but don't be the low side of Knight of Wands because what he shares with this character is a necessary risk. This guy, I sometimes call this card putting your head in the tiger's mouth. This is Seven of Swords, which Seven of Swords in the upright position, it's called um, open dishonor or hidden dishonor. It means like having me, me, me behavior, you know, criminality, cutting corners, getting what's mine, 
Um, I'm going to take these regardless of the consequences. I'm just going to do whatever I need to do to cover my cover myself and make sure that I've got what I need, regardless of whether it's mine or not. I'm just going to steal these swords. So this is criminality. And I see this in conjunction with this guy more as like risk-taking behavior, overly risk-taking behavior. Don't put your head in the tiger's mouth. You know, don't gamble away things that, that you want to be secure. So here's what I'm getting for this row here is that if you're faced with indecision, get expertise from a mentor or an expert in the field, someone who's got wisdom and experience, that's going to help you take action while minimizing your risk. It's saying take action, but don't fall into the trap of being overly risky, which is something that both of these characters emphasize. So that's what I'm getting is don't, don't, be too risky with your action. This guy will help you identify that. Because what it will lead to if you do, um, Scorpio, is this is going to lead you to, if you take too much risk, you're just going to end up worrying about it anyway. This is Nine of Swords, which is worrying too much, having too much on your mind. I mean, that's a theme for December for you. You need to kind of relax. You need to kind of chill out. You need to kind of just reflect on things. This is when the mind has a mind of its own. And this is like making mountains out of molehills. Or it's saying like you may have three problems, three things to think about, but you're making it into nine things. And you're binding yourself up in knots in the process. So what I always point out in this card is that there's only one person fighting against themselves. And it's really like their mind is taking over. So I always ask in this card, what are the swords that you can put down? What's real and what's not real? What's excessive worry? See if you can employ the other elements. This is too much air. It's too much mind activity. It's, it's, it's anxiety producing. And you might be in denial about it. You might be saying, oh, I'm, I'm trying not to think about it, but it's, you know, this is waking up at night and being, being anxious. So... I recommend with this card to ground yourself to participate in earth energy or, you know, more fire energy, more taking action or water energy, which is heart energy. Because if the antidote to too much air, too much mental activity is participating more in the other elements. So if you can, again, this person's going to be helpful. He's, he's, he's conquered this. This guy is not susceptible to this. This is making too many swords, too many thoughts, going in circles. This guy's like, no, this is the truth. I've got it. I've got it. It's one sword. Look at it. It's right here. It's the truth. It's knowledge. It's wisdom and experience. It's, he's clear. He's in alignment with the truth, so he's got clarity. This is not clarity. <laughs> this is stress, anxiety. Don't do that to yourself, Scorpio. Don't, don't put yourself in this position by being too risk-taking. This leads to that. Um, and by the way, in between these two, you know, seven of swords to nine of swords, eight of swords is victim mentality. So it just don't, don't go there. Rely on him. Um, and then I see towards the end of the month, you have night of coins in reverse. So this is, this is being practical. Knight of Coins, where Knight of Fire is daring and courageous and, and risk-taking and, um, you know, he's, he'll go for it. Knight of Coins steps back and considers the matter. He's practical. He's like, what's the bottom line here? This is the salesman card, Jack of Diamonds. Um, this is the same card that the United States has. So it's like, what's the bottom line? What's, what's the bottom dollar? Where's the budget at? Where are the funds going to come from? How, have I crunched the numbers yet? Is this practical? Is this going to suit me in the long term? Is it grounded? I want to think about this for a while. So what it's saying, again, God, it's just like almost, it keeps, it keeps coming, Scorpio. Be practical about it. This is saying you might not be being practical about it. Don't be overly risk-taking. Don't cause yourself the anxiety or the stress. And, and try to be practical about it because it's saying you might have a hard time being practical about something right now. You might be having a hard time making the grounded decision that gives you lasting results. Um, be careful about being overly risk-taking. All four of these cards are saying that to me. You really need to... You may know about that too. That might be why you're checking out. That's where this guy's going to help. I can't stress enough that you really need a, a mentor or someone with wisdom or experience to walk you through this Scorpio because 